the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 39 I am RAW. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. I communicate now. Questioner. The instrument was wondering if her fragile feeling was the result of the chemical ingestion of about six weeks ago. I am raw. This is correct. This instrument is now undergoing the most intensive period of physical complex debilitation distortion due to the doubling effects of the two ingestions. This instrument may expect this extremity to proceed for a period of 15 to 20 of your diurnal cycles. The weakness distortions will then begin to lift. However, not as rapidly as we first thought due to this instrument's ongoing weakness distortions. This instrument is very fortunate in having a support group which impresses upon it the caution necessary as regards these sessions at this time. This instrument is capable of almost instantaneously clearing the mental emotional complex and the spiritual complex for the purity this working requires. But this instrument's distortion towards fidelity to service does not function to its best use of judgment regarding the weakness distortions of the physical complex. Thus we appreciate your assistance at space times such as that in your most recent decision making not to have a working. This was the appropriate decision and the guidance given this instrument was helpful. Questioner. Is there anything that the instrument could do in addition to what she is attempting to do to help her condition get better faster? I know that she hasn't been able to exercise because of her foot problem for the last couple of days not able to walk, but we are hoping to get back to that. Is there anything else that she could do? I am raw. As we have implied, the negative entities are moving all stops out to undermine this instrument at this time. This is the cause of the aforementioned problem with the pedal digit. It is fortunate that this instrument shall be greatly involved in the worship of the One Infinite Creator through the vibratory complexes of sacred song during this period. The more active physical existence, both in the movements of exercise and in the sexual sense, are helpful. However the requirements of this instrument's distortions towards what you would call ethics have an effect upon this latter activity. Again, it is fortunate that this instrument has the opportunities for loving social intercourse which are of some substantial benefit. Basically, in your third density continuum, this is a matter of time. Questioner, from your reading of the instrument's condition can you approximate how often and how length of workings that we could plan in our future workings? I am raw. This query borders upon infringement. The information given sets up fairly followable guidelines. However, we are aware that not only can each of you not read this instrument's aura and so see conditions of the physical complex but also the instrument itself has considerable difficulty penetrating the precise distortion condition of its physical complex due to its constant dependence upon its will to serve. Therefore, we believe we are not infringing if we indicate that one working each alternate diurnal period in the matinal hours is most appropriate with the possibility of a shorter working upon the free matinal period if deemed appropriate. This is so not only during this period but in general. Questioner, I will then continue now with the general questioning, attempting to find a way into a line of questioning which will get us into an area of understanding non-transient functions which may be worked upon by us and others to raise our consciousness and I may make several mistakes here in trying to find a way into this questioning. I apologize in advance if my questioning is misleading. I notice that everything seems or most of the basic things seem to be divided into units which total seven. In looking at a transcript by Henry Puevic from the Nine I found a statement by the Nine where they say, if we get seven times the electrical equivalent of the human body then it would result in sabenon of the mass of electricity. Could you explain this? I am raw. To explain this is beyond the abilities of your language. We shall, however, make an attempt to address this concept. As you are aware, in the beginning of the creations set up by each logos, there are created the complete potentials, both electrical, in the sense of the one you call Larson, and metaphysical. This metaphysical electricity is as important in the understanding, shall we say, of this statement as is the concept of electricity. This concept, as you are aware, deals with potentiated energy. The electron has been said to have no mass but only a field. Others claim a mass of infinitesimal measure. Both are correct. The true mass of the potentiated energy is the strength of the field. This is also true metaphysically. However, in your present physical system of knowledge it is useful to take the mass number of the electron in order to do work that you may find solutions to other questions about the physical universe. In such a way, you may conveniently consider each density of being to have a greater and greater spiritual mass. The mass increases, shall we say, 
significantly but not greatly until the gateway density. In this density the summing up, the looking backwards in short, all the useful functions of polarity have been used. Therefore, the metaphysical electrical nature of the individual grows greater and greater in spiritual mass. For an analog one may observe the work of the one known as Albert who posits the growing to infinity of mass as this mass approaches the speed of light. Thus the seventh density being, the completed being, the creator who knows itself accumulates mass and compacts into the one creator once again. Questioner, then in the equation that I have here on this page, would M refer to spiritual mass, I am assuming. Is this correct? M equals M O caret squared slash V 1 V squared slash caret squared. I am wrong. This is correct. Questioner, thank you. Can you tell me can you interpret a transmission from the 9? where they say ch is a principle which is the revealing principle of knowledge and law? Can you tell me what that principle is? I am wrong. The principle so veiled in that statement is but the simple principle of the constant or creator and the transient or the incarnate being and the yearning existing between the two, one for the other, in love and light amidst the distortions of free will acting upon the illusion-bound entity. Questioner, was the reason that the nine transmitted this principle in this form there was the reason for this the first distortion? I am wrong. This is incorrect. Questioner, can you tell me why they gave the principle in such a veiled form then? I am wrong. The scribe is most interested in puzzles and equations. Questioner, I see. The nine describe themselves as the nine principles of God. Can you tell me what they mean by that? I am wrong. This is also a veiled statement. The attempt is made to indicate that the nine who sit upon the council are those representing the Creator, the one Creator, just as there may be nine witnesses in a courtroom testifying for one defendant. The term principle has this meaning also. The desire of the scribe may be seen in much of this material to have affected the manner of its presentation just as the abilities and preferences of this group determine the nature of this contact. The difference lies in the fact that we are as we are. Thus we may either speak as we will or not speak at all. This demands a very tuned, shall we say, group. Questioner, I sense that there is fruitful ground for investigation of our development in tracing the evolution of the bodily energy centers because these seven centers seem to be linked with all of the sevens that I spoke of previously and be central to our own development. Could you describe the process of evolution of these bodily energy centers starting with the most primitive form of life to have them? I am wrong. This material has been covered previously to some extent. Therefore, we shall not repeat information upon which ways dwell in first and second density and the wherefores of this, but rather attempt to enlarge upon this information the basic pivotal points of each level of development. That is, each density beyond second may be seen to be as follows. Firstly, the basic energy of so-called red ray. This ray may be understood to be the basic strengthening ray for each density. It shall never be condescended to as less important or productive of spiritual evolution, for it is the foundation ray. The next foundation ray is yellow. This is the great stepping stone ray. At this ray the mind-body potentiates to its fullest balance. The strong red-orange-yellow triad springboards the entity into the center ray of green. This is again a basic ray but not a primary ray. This is the resource for spiritual work. When green ray has been activated we find the third primary ray being able to begin potentiation. This is the first true spiritual ray in that all transfers are of an integrated mind-body-spirit nature. The the blue ray seats the learning teachings of the spirit in each density within the mind-body complex, animating the whole, communicating to others this entirety of beingness. The indigo ray, though precious, is that ray worked upon only by the adept, as you would call it. It is the gateway to intelligent infinity bringing intelligent energy through. This is the energy center worked upon in those teachings considered inner, hidden, and occult, for this ray is that which is infinite in its possibilities. As you are aware, those who heal, teach, and work for the Creator in any way which may be seen to be both radiant and balanced are those activities which are indigo ray. As you are aware, the violet ray is constant and does not figure into a discussion of the functions of ray activation in that it is the mark, the register, the identity, the true vibration of an entity. Questioner, in order to clarify a little bit I would like to ask the question if we have a highly polarized entity polarized towards service to others and a highly polarized entity polarized towards service to self, what would be, taking each ray, 
starting with red, would there be a difference in the red ray of these two entities? I am raw. This shall be the last full question of this working. There is no difference in equally strongly polarized positive and negative entities as regards red ray. Questioner, is this also true of all the other rays? I am raw. We shall answer briefly. You may question further at another working. The negative ray pattern is the red-orange-yellow moving directly to the blue, indigo. This being only used in order to contact intelligent infinity. In positively oriented entities the configuration is even, crystallinely clear, and of the seven ray description. Are there any short queries before we leave this instrument? Questioner, I only need to know if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or help the contact. I am raw. You are most conscientious. All is well. I leave you, my friends in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth therefore rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one creator. Adonai. And of session 39.